The Rat himself, the FIFA 23 legend, is returning in the Golazo promo. We'll talk about that today. We've got more Golazo leaks as well, and the heroes and icons are looking pretty insane so far. And also, I think we're going to get possibly the first million coin back in FIFA history during this promo, it looks like. Because this pack leak makes no sense, and <laughs> we'll talk about that. Team of the Week leaks as well. I don't know, random fucking shit to talk about. God knows what. We're opening a mixed players pack today. Aha, just kidding. It is that uh, new one of four this time 88 plus winter wild card fun versus or honorable mentions player pick open that at the end of the video i have no idea if it's good or not if you did it and got anything good in it let me know in the comments and also thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh do doddy doddy daddy doddy luca bacchio came out today and uh six foot two five star skill moves if you guys want to buy coins you can go to mmoxp.com the link is in the description use my code jfc at checkout for a five percent discount and shot and technical is fantastic to be fair uh the stats are not maybe the best 34 aggression uh that that's that's something uh but kind of a decent super sub i feel like he's probably not anything too much more if you've tried him out let me know if you like him he, he's kind of a card that is cool but might not be used a ton and then Pierre Lise Milou came out as well, who is actually looks pretty good. And he can actually be used in that friendly that just came out, that football birthday cup. So I think, think that's kind of why they made him 88 rated. And he's pretty good for that cup. He's probably one of the best midfielders that you can actually use in that cup, to be honest with you. He's not the best card ever, but just because you can use him in that cup kind of makes him cool. And oh, look, they drop a card that maybe isn't the best ever, but there's a use for him. So it makes it way better. That would be cool to have that more often. And the power curve doesn't mean as much when we have a place to take him into. Isn't that kind of nice? But yes, lads and ladies, uh, this, yes, by the way, ladies, there's 2.6% of you. I don't think I don't see you out there, even though it's probably 2.5% guys lying that they're women. But anyway, Alawayron, here he comes. Uh, all the replies, yep, cannot deal with this again. We are ready. Get ready to start getting those cigarettes lit up. This man is days away from terrorizing your byline and running straight down for some cutbacks because you know damn well he's going to be cracked. He's get, he's kind of a newer card that has that hype. We are yet to see an Alawayron card with any playstyle plus so far. There's no way in hell he doesn't get Rapid plus. He might even get Rapid and Quick Step plus, which would be kind of insane. Does anybody have Rapid and Quick Step plus? Nope, nobody. What a, what a more perfect time to possibly give a card both those than this Alawayron SPC. Well, I wonder if we could like dig into what what playstyle combos have not been used yet. I know like Ariel and Powerheader have not been used yet. I kind of wonder what playstyle pluses together have never been used. I might do that for tomorrow's video, actually, like kind of dig into that. But yeah, LA run SPC. What is there to say? He's going to be insane and also insanely expensive as well, I'm sure. And then we got Janola. Janola is also leaked to come into the Galazzo promo. A heroes and icons promo. There's almost no way almost any, all the top end heroes will be in this. I would be surprised to see Dina Tala end up in this and Yaya Toure even again, potentially. I mean, there's so many cards that could end up in this. And Janola is another one. Now, once again, we could even be seeing baby versions of these cards. Last year, Trophy Titans, we saw some baby icon versions and then also like an upgraded version as well. That could come back for Heroes as well this year. I'm not sure how it's going to work. We're kind of all predicting it to be Trophy Titans 2.0, but they changed the name of the promo. So it could be a bit different this year, but obviously at least go on. We'll talk about it every day. Um, but let's just take a good look at this pack here. The Supreme Galazzo Guarantee Pack. This one includes one guarantee Galazzo hero or icon rated 89 or higher. So seeing this here rated 89 or higher kind of confirms to me that baby versions probably end up coming back then because they'll have some like lower maybe 88, 87 rated ones that will be packed more often and kind of be worse versions. Also 50 rare gold players rated 85 or higher. So I'd say 50 times 85 pack, which I think is the best pack in terms of rating of all time, I believe. With two guaranteed to be 87 or higher, which you would hope 50, 85 would have 287 or higher in it. Then some loans in there as well. But anyway, it's a guaranteed Galazzo hero icon with a 50 times 85 pack if 85 is in the market or 5k that's 250,000 coins and just terms of coin value that you can make back off the pack so it's gonna have to be insanely expensive this pack because it obviously includes an icon or a hero it will be insanely expensive it could be the i mean we're inching closer and closer towards that million coin pack this might not be the one but it's gonna come soon okay it's team of the season time possibly that it ends up coming out a million coins or i mean 8,000 fifa points 80 dollars for one one pack like this the, the time is coming basically and this pack they all are keep getting
getting better and better, which makes you wonder how will they keep getting better and better? I'm not exactly sure, but EA are just, they're just cranking it up to 10,000 this year because they already are in too deep with all the pack stuff. Player base, even if it's less, they're trying to make their profits while they can. They're just fucking shell out all the packs they possibly can right now. And hey, I won't tell you to spend your money. I, I, I wouldn't do that. But um, I will say I, I will ask nicely. Please don't fucking buy that pack. Also, Vinny Player of the Month. I don't know when he's coming out. We have no idea. No more info. Uh, we're just all waiting, basically. And today's SBC, well, two SBCs, I should say, is the Evan Ferguson Twin SBCs. It's one with five-star skills, one with five-star weak foot, of course. Uh, yeah, just be on the lookout for that, I suppose. Only real information that we have for the rest of our birthday is just that right there. And Leia Williamson coming out on Thursday. Now, Team of the Week leaks. Itana Bomati will be the Team of the Week. People thought Hanson might make it. I think she scored a few goals and had some assists there, but Bomati is going to get in this time. So she's the first Team of the Week leak, and then I think the second one here is, yeah, Bruno Fernandez is going to make it in. Now, of course, if they're not featured, it's probably not going to be the best card because he has, you know, lower pace. Just that's the way it is right now. Every meta card's got 85 pace, and if any inform comes out with less pace than, like, 80, it's virtually useless, which is, it just sucks. But it's the way it goes right now, and we have one more leak, and it's Tony Cruz. He'll make it into Team of the Week as well uh cruz actually is good this year i think long ball plus is just great wait does he have long ball plus on his base card because i might be tripping if he doesn't have that but if he does then he does okay so he's gonna get long ball plus plus maybe even another one this card could be usable potentially because i think his first inform here has 70 pace so maybe this one gets like almost 80 you would hope and maybe they'd be then be usable but i don't know we'll have to wait and see i always love to want to cruise cards in fifa also can we get lamina mall in fifa yet what is taking so long is it that he's too young like what what's the issue with him being in eafc like what is taking so long he, he's already get, like playing for spain like what, what's taking so long here the question is will an aloe ron affect the market and the answer to that is probably I actually think Aloe Ron combined with Vinny, we could see some more attacking attackers sell off here. Obviously, if both are hella expensive, it probably won't matter too much. But a Cole Palmer Future Stars card, who's 1.4 mil, who's kind of a winger. These types of cards that are around that million coin range, if the SBC comes out and it's actually not, they're both not too expensive, we're gonna see a big sell off of these cards. Similar to like George Best when he came out, you save you when he came out during Team of the Year. Team of the Year, obviously, we, ex we expect a big crash, but that also compounded on top of it. Every good attacker will see a bit of a dip if he's cheap if he's not not much will probably change if they're both not not much will probably change let's read your comments now basic shapes is eafc is a good game i feel like everyone is making it look like shit but it's actually not bad i mean the only thing that's bringing me back is the addition of playstyle pluses because it's something new um and listen if, if you like the game i'm really glad you like the game uh me personally i think there's things in it i like i actually like playstyle pluses i think that if done correctly they can be a really nice addition to the game actually i i was hyped about them on day one and i still think they could be pretty good even though this year they kind of haven't necessarily necessarily been maybe implemented in the best way that might just be a side effect of the gameplay sucking in general and the play style plus is kind of just being like a side effect of that so yeah i just want to read that quick saying like i actually like play style pluses but they're implemented maybe not the best way so far but i'd say i like you know want them to keep building off it but do i trust them to actually implement it in a good way or like keep building on something that could be possibly working I mean, hell no, I don't. But at some point, we gotta just accept that, well, I think it's a good idea. Hopefully they build off it. Uh, the Archangel says, people will complain no matter what happens with promos. I think a fine middle ground would be only three players a week for these events or a new player every weekday. The best thing about all this is parity. All these cards being upgraded equals more varied teams. This would be even better if it did not do SBCs for already meta players or players who had already 90 plus cards. Boost those who are low, not those who are already high. I think there's a lot of ways they could do it, to be honest with you. I think that, yeah parody is probably one of the more important things and this year with play styles i think they've done a decent job with that i mean to be fair though we just got so many good spcs during team of the year time that the parody seems bad right now because it gave us a bunch of good spcs and then a month went by that none of them contended with any of those during team of the year so why would your team change when ea dropped great spcs during team of the year which was nice of them and then sawa best eusebio no SBCs really touched those cards for so long that it's like, well, yeah, the parody is going to be shit then. So I do wonder what would make people the most happy. Would it be, you know, just if we had a bunch of cards coming out, but the parody was there, so you could use almost all of them. And then it kind of didn't feel stale. But right now, there's a lot of content, but obviously there's that very, very restrictive meta that will always be in any video game in a sense. But at the same time, there probably are many ways they could accentuate the other cards in the game that are not 
maybe the the, the top one percent top point one percent cards right and the most helpful to comment yesterday was uh bro the power play don't matter i'm assuming you meant like the power curve they could bring out cards with all the play styles and ratings over 103 if the gameplay sucks and the card's gonna suck i mean yeah like listen uh, every problem i say with the game the base problem is the gameplay like there's no really getting around that that is the worst part of the game right now if the gameplay is inconsistent and like yeah what's does it really matter what the card stats are it's probably not going to play great there's only a few cards that i really use this year that are good and bad gameplay and there's not many of them so all right let's open this pick um there's a, there's a couple like really meta cards you can get in this i'm not expecting much just hopefully a high rated card if i'm not gonna get anything spectacular what in the servers is going on here okay if the ice neymar comes out uh you probably will want to turn the video off immediately because i don't know what's gonna happen but it's not gonna be good let's see here um um that's uh 